pleased to welcome you all to the TVs tonight for uh, a very special night to me because, uh, as you know, I'm, I'm a farmer and a, and a part-time butcher. I'm very excited about this and we've been planning it for a long, long time. So, I would just want to introduce you. We have three butchers, Paul Barton from The Source, Dave Kelly from uh, Ruby and White, the famous in black and Michael Angelo from the School of Planet Butchers. So I'm going to do get straight down to it. Michael is going to take off the shoulder of pork first of all, with the help of the saw. The flank, which is coming off of the hind of beef, is just off. The shoulders come off of the lamb. The rough bullion is now going to come off for everybody to see. This is where you get your T-bone, this is where you get your fillet, and this is where you get your rub. Red meat, oh red meat, oh red meat, red meat, red meat. The notion of nose to tail is something that Fergus Henderson uh, really kind of popularised, I suppose, about 10 years ago. This evening is a kind of celebration of that idea about using the, the entirety of the animal, do the animal the most amount of uh, justice. That if you're going to kill the beast, then you should use every possible part of it that you can. So we're all here for the nose to tail evening, and the stuff that everybody thinks of, uh, first of all, when you're talking about nose to tail, is the offal. Um, what we've got here is the, uh, the pluck from a, from a lamb and on the bottom here we've got the liver and then the lungs here, the heart nestled in amongst that and then at the top here we've got the pancreas which along with the thymus glands is uh, what makes up the sweetbreads. Uh, which is your next course. Everybody looking forward to the next course? <laughs> Sometimes you need to stay, oh baby, baby. Use a, a French technique here to kind of create like almost a kind of a net around the piece of meat there. Sign up for half a lamb and, and give it a go yourselves. Sometimes you take the love, sometimes. Sometimes the next bit coming off here is going to be the shin, which is what's on the menu. Basically, the front, the bit of the front, the front leg, this piece here, the bit of the last one. It's not a human, it'll be a forearm. Uh, another common misconception is that animals have four legs. Uh, they don't, they've got two legs and two shoulders. Most of this, except for the rib, which is here, which I'll take off in a minute, and the flat iron, which comes out of the blade, which is in here. Everything else on this needs to be cooked, cooked slowly or minced, basically. Because it works so much harder, it needs that extra bit of cooking. Sometimes you take a look. Sometimes love takes you. Red meat. Red meat. Oh, baby. You feel like the guys at work have seen that. Jesus, I got some ribbing. Red meat. I think we've got the supermarkets to thank for kind of diluting and washing out all of the, the colour and life out of our British meat. But it's actually something, you know, we, we grow some of the some of the best livestock in the in the whole world. And it's something that we should be really proud of. If we all made that choice to eat more grass fed meat, um, I believe the world would be a better place. What we'd like to do is for you to come local, buy local meat, and this is what we're there to serve you with, local produced meat for your families.